I can't stay up to date with all these dang AI tools. I'm just not smart enough to pay attention to everything at once. Maybe that's what you're thinking. But I came here with five mind-blowing AI tools that can take your productivity to that next level. First and foremost, we got Midjourney. If you haven't played around with Midjourney before or haven't heard about it at all, just look at what this AI image generator is able to create. Look at this beauty. And all it took was a little bit of a prompt that said this. And then this surreal bright blue tiger surrounded by thorns. I just, what? An AI made this? An AI made this person look that realistic? Or this image? Or the, I mean, these adorable capybaras. Or this giraffe. Honestly, this looks like a picture. It's mind blowing what this AI has been able to do. It's not CGI. It's AI images that, you know, if they manage to string these images together, I mean, we could make videos out of this. I mean, what are we even thinking? The pricing on this is pretty cheap. It's like eight bucks a month. And it's done through Discord, which is very interesting. And you can see all the different images that I've made here. And they're just so well created. I even put some images of myself in there and had it try to do things like me holding a golden goose egg and surrounded by floating dollar bills. This is before it upgraded to V5 as well. It was on version four. And it's just gonna keep getting better as better as time goes on. So I would definitely recommend you check out Midjourney. If you need any sort of graphics created for anything, it's gonna be, honestly, I hate to say this, but it might be better and cheaper than getting a graphics design person to do it. Now, when it comes to Canva AI, I've made a video on this one, which you can check out. But when it comes to this, it's very simple. You can just do some AI generated images within the platform. And you also are able to make different presentations and designs within it. So if I were example to go here and create a design, and I were to click here on the AI section, it's gonna basically give you a Canva AI assistant. So if I look up school presentation, it would search for something like this, and then I could pick this and apply all the 15 pages. And then furthermore, I could add different text items, it gives me more ideas for photos that would fit into this vibe. And over here, this text to image thing, well, if I put school kids having fun and make it like filmic and try an example and press create your image, Gonna take a second and then after I'm done sipping my coffee, ah, this would pop up. I mean, it made this. This is crazy, right? Now, it's not quite the same quality as Midjourney, but it's built right into the platform. And if we changed it to, to a different vibe, right? We create it again. We don't have it be as realistic looking. It might look even better, which it kind of does in this vibe. Now, third, we have Notion AI. Uh, it basically is a chat GPT style of tool that allows you to have an AI assistant within Notion. It's really cool, you're able to find action items from text that you have above. And you can see examples of this on Notion AI. There's a myriad of different things. They're even implementing property tools to connect into the public domain for this. So I would go and check out whether you wanna use Notion AI or not, just based off whether you're a consistent Notion user and you wanna take ChatGPT and sort of implement it into your system. They keep improving the amount of prompts, the ability to add tone in here, and are trying their best to essentially take ChatGPT and have a much better experience while managing your notes and your tasks and everything within Notion. So having a better UI for some people just ends up making the experience better. So I definitely check this out. Number four is Firefly's AI. So what I really like about these kind of tools is that it's able to automatically record and transcribe meetings. And then afterwards, you're able to search for things like tasks, questions, date and time, pricing, metrics, all these sort of things. And then it can integrate into these different tools. While we're out here waiting for these products from like Google and Microsoft to do these sort of things, apps like Firefly's right now can do it. You get unlimited transcription credits starting at $10 a month, 8,000 minutes of storage. You're gonna have summaries, global search, the ability to filter through this information and have a Zapier integration, Slack integrations. All these different options on the integration front are huge because when you manage to connect AI and an API, you are going to absolutely level up and beat out your competition at a company and personally because you're utilizing something that they're not. You're not having to take these meeting notes. You're able to focus and pay attention to what's going on in these calls. And everyone's just going to have a more productive mindset when going into these. I know that Google and Microsoft may end up implementing some of this stuff for their personal side. But the fact that this tool has integrations to other platforms is pretty big. I mean, Notion, Asana, Slack, these are the kind of things that really matter for a lot of businesses. I know for 
me personally at my company, we use Asana and Slack. So even if they implement it into things like Google Tasks or Google Trad, it won't really matter. So definitely check out Firefly's AI if you're looking for way better improvements on how your meetings are run. Next is we got Jasper. So I know that a lot of people are big on ChatGPT from a tech standpoint, but Jasper has been around longer and it's been doing pretty solid. Uh, they ended up getting a big influx of cash recently. And while the pricing on this is a little like, well, it's like 39 a month, it does a great job of maintaining brand voice, which is very unique. And I know a lot of different creators like Easlo, for example, who's big on Twitter, utilizes this. And having brand voice is really important. You can also use Jasper through the API, which is huge. And it has a huge number of templates, a browser extension, and other business features that you're not gonna get from a baseline thing like ChatGPT. It's funny that they've managed to be able to continue growing even with ChatGPT coming out. So I would definitely recommend you try out Jasper as an alternative if you're looking for maintaining brand voice and quality writing, even though you might think ChatGPT is the best writing option out there. There are other solid ones out there as well. If you wanna learn more about different AI tools, make sure to go and check out videos like this on how to improve your productivity and AI skills even more.